Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video I'll go through blending, multi-prompting and adding weights in mid-journey. These are some amazing commands and advanced prompting techniques that are really easy to grasp and will make you a better prompt engineer. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and share some love in the comments down below. Let's go. We'll start off by generating two different images. For the first image I wrote Samurai under Sakura tree and I got these beautiful results. Now for the second image I wrote Hulk contemplating. I got these results. Now I am interested in creating Hulk from a parallel universe where he is a samurai. There is two different methods to achieve that. The first one is by blending the images using the blending command or simply uploading the URL of the first image followed by a dash and the second image in the same prompt. This method is pretty straightforward and most of the time you will not need more than that to mix or blend two images. It doesn't matter which image you put first in the prompt when using the blending command. Here I tried the same two images but changed the position of the first image and the second image. As you see we still get the same results. The small variations is due to Midjourney being an AI and having a tendency to generate random results. Before I move on to the more advanced method I want to show you another example. Here I generated an image of a waterfall and blended it with an image of a mountain to get this result. As I said it's pretty simple and amazing. As simple as smashing that subscribe button. For the second method we'll use a command called describe. So what most people don't know is that Midjourney has a built-in function that describes any image you want. This is a pretty good command which can be used for different purposes. It is like reverse engineering of a prompt which can give you an idea of what Midjourney sees in an image. Let's use the describe command on our two images and see what we get. I write describe and Midjourney gives me the option to upload an image from my computer. For this one let's go with our Hulk image and put the describe command to test. We get four different descriptions of the image. The description is based on how Midjourney understands the image and I have to say that it does a pretty good job. We can use one of the descriptions to generate an image and compare it to our first image. We can simply click on one of the numbers and choose which description we want to use for our next image. I like the fourth one the most, The Incredible Hulk by Pauline Hansen in the style of pensive poses, spatial concept art, precisionist art, bold yet graceful, associated press photo, king core fantasy characters. Let's go and see what we get with this description. I must say that I didn't expect to give us that good results. It turned out amazing and nailed both the pose and the vibe of the image. Here is a comparison to our first image. Now we can do the same procedure for our summary image. We write describe, we upload the image and hit enter. We choose one of the descriptions that we like and generate four new images based on Midjourney's interpretation of our image. We get another set of incredible images and realize that Midjourney is really good at describing images and reverse prompting. Now this is my favorite part. Instead of using the blending command to mix two images, we'll use an advanced prompting technique called multi-prompting. This method gives us more control compared to blending, but it requires a little more effort. I used the description Midjourney gave us of our first and second image to create an entire new image. We used the colon symbol twice to separate the descriptions. I will get more into that in a bit. For now let's understand what we just did. We will create a new set of images and combine the descriptions of our Hulk and Samurai image to mix or blend the images using a technique called multi-prompting. Let's head over to Midjourney. It's important to include the double columns to separate the two descriptions. Now all we have to do is hit enter and wait for Midjourney to do its magic. The results are incredible, no pun intended. I generated a few sets of images and as you can see we got a variation of human form, hulk form, samurai and non-samurai results. Even though these are incredible what I'm looking for is an image that includes the following elements. A green character resembling hulk, samurai clothes or style, a sword and the secretary. 
This is where the weight prompt comes in and helps us control different aspects of the image. The weight prompt is the real deal. It is a way to tell the AI to prioritize or put extra focus on a certain part or object of the image. Here is a few examples from Midjourney Docs. Once I've shown you this, you'll have leveled up your prompt engineering skills to the next level. Straight from Midjourney's Docs, there is something called Multiprompt Basics. So it says that adding a double colon to a prompt indicates to the Midjourney bot that it should consider each part of the prompt separately. So in the example below, for the prompt hot dog, as you see here, it's considered as one word. And the Midjourney bot produces images of tasty hot dogs. If the prompt is separated into two parts, hot and then double colon, as we've talked about, then dog, both concepts are considered separately, creating a picture of a dog that is warm. Moving on to prompt weights, so when a double colon is used to separate a prompt into different parts, you can add a number immediately after the double colon to assign the relative importance to that part of the prompt. So here's an example. The prompt hot double colon dog, as we see here, it produces a dog that is hot or that is warm. Changing the prompt to hot double colon and adding the number two after the word hot and then dog makes the word hot twice as important and it produces an image of a dog that is very hot so hot double colon dog hot double colon number two dog makes the hot word in the prompt twice as important here is another way prompt weights can be used if we use negative weights, we can remove unwanted elements. In this example, the prompt vibrant tulip fields has been used and as a result, a range of colored tulips has been produced. Let's say I want to remove the red colored flowers or have less red color in the image. I can write, imagine prompt, then vibrant tulip fields, double colon, red double colon dash dot five. Or my favorite one, which is much simpler. Imagine prompt vibrant tulip fields dash dash no red. So it's dash dash no red or red double colon dash dot five. Here are the results with the negative prompt weights. By doing that, I can control some parts of the output and get these amazing results. Here is a comparison with the first image without the negative prompt weight. We can see that we got similar results but without the red flowers or the color of red in the image. Now getting back to our project, I wanted to create a Hulk from the multiverse where he is a samurai. I used the prompt weight function and did two experiments with our description. In the first example, I added the weight of 2 to the first description, which is describing the Incredible Hulk. I left the second part as it was and didn't add any weight. The results are as predicted. The image should depict more of the Hulk than the Samurai and Sakura tree. This is because we have made the prompt about Hulk twice as important compared to the rest of the description. In the second example, I did the exact opposite. Now I added the weight of 2 in front of the description of the Samurai and Sakura tree. I didn't add any weights to the description of the Hulk. Now we can see that the image is more towards the Samurai description of the prompt. I used the following prompt for my final result and it fulfilled all the elements I was looking for. <laughs>